Welcome to Chamber Chat. This is John Tear, President and CEO of the Boulder Chamber. And I welcome you to our bi-weekly opportunity to chat to, with some of our business leaders and those in the community who are supporting our economy and lifting our businesses during this challenging COVID-19 period, as well as generally making sure that we're looking out for our businesses. And today we have two very important guests who are gonna talk about a new program that the Boulder County is pursuing, the Five Star Business Certification Program, which should help our business enormously, as we will describe. Um, and the guests who will be talking with us about that are Corinne Waldau, who is our Senior Director of Economic Vitality here at the Boulder Chamber, as well as Bob Trotter, who is the General Manager for the St. Julian Hotel. So I really look forward to my chat with those two folks. But before we get started, I just wanna give you a little bit of information about some activities that are happening at the Boulder Chamber. So first, we are having our annual virtual Boulder Economic Forecast, which is happening on January 28th at 4 p.m. And that's presented by Elevations Credit Union. And as ever, this will be an, a critical session, giving you information and insights on the where our economy is going for 2021 and to help you plan your business activities. This will be critical information presented by two national, le national leaders uh, in national leading economists, Brian Lewandowski and Richard, Dr. Richard Wobekline from the University of Colorado. And they're gonna provide excellent insights and data that will help you and your businesses as you plan for 2021. So don't miss out, that's January 28th at 4 p.m. Register online now. And then we're getting ready to rock. Yes, the annual Battle of the Industry Bands presented by Terrapin Care Station is scheduled for April 1. So we wanna make sure that you and your band colleagues are getting ready to submit your video of your band. And that can be of either covers or original tunes by February 18th because what we're gonna do is then choose five bands to present in front of our celebrity judges to be chosen as Boulder's top industry band, plus a number of great prizes. And that'll occur on April 1. So make sure to submit your video with your band's best music tunes on by, April, by February 18. And then we hope to see all of you online at or online and or at that event, which we don't know is going to be virtual or not, but all the information is down below on the screen. And then finally, just make sure to always check out the Boulder Chamber website at boulderchamber.com events to find out about all the new and exciting events we have planned for 2021. It's going to be a great year with a lot of great online activities. And then we're looking forward to starting to get back into the in-person events as well. I know all of you are. Look forward to seeing you there. And then always on our website, we have great information to help you and your business through this COVID-19 period, but in general, to make sure that you are successful because we are your number one business support partner. Okay, enough for me. It's time to hear from our distinguished guests. And first off is Corinne Waldau, who, as I mentioned, is our Senior Director for Economic Vitality. And she's been working on getting an application in to the state for this five-star business certification program. So I'm just going to ask you, Corinne, can you tell us what this program does and what does it represent for or what opportunity does it represent for our local businesses? John? Sure, it's great. Uh, it's great to be here and to talk a little bit about five star certification. I, I want to say that this program was first developed or authorized by the governor and Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment in mid December and what it does it's a voluntary program that allows counties to really create the infrastructure to recognize the businesses that are pursuing public health guidelines at and above what is required under the orders. So the ability to do that is something that we now have as counties 
and it's taken us a little while, but we, we brought together the municipalities, the chambers, the economic development agencies right here in Boulder County to really develop what we could program. And I'm happy to announce we're able to submit our application to CDPHE today uh, to be able, well, today or this week, to be able to, uh, to be able to put this program forth for Boulder County and what it represents for businesses. And really ideally, those businesses that apply and are certified through live inspections um, are able to operate at a higher capacity. And so if we as a county are in orange and our metrics are in orange and we meet the requirements of orange, then those businesses that are certified and inspected can now operate at yellow capacities. And that's a game changer. That's a game changer for restaurants who go from 50% to our 25% to 50% capacity for our events facilities for our gyms, for our hospitality locations, um, personal services. So I've seen across the county amazing examples of our businesses following public health orders for the last 10 months. And this is really that opportunity for those businesses to show they are following the public health orders, show the public, show the employees, and to really benefit from it to be able to, um, to open at a higher capacity if our metrics are in the right place. Well, let me ask you, Corinne, you, you mentioned the, the additional public health standards they have to meet. Can you describe what those are and also maybe just a sense of confidence that customers can have uh, in the public health safety of these businesses? Sure, of course. So for certain industries under the five-star certification, uh, Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment or CDPHE set forth some additional guidelines that they'd like to see from certain industries. So for example, under gyms, um, they want to make sure that machines are six feet apart or put signs up on, on, on equipment. Or in restaurants, they've asked for, um, for them to be able to collect information on people coming in so they can do better contact tracing, um, posting additional signage. There's just you know, most of the things that fall under the checklist that will be inspected are already in the order. Things, you know, that already exist and then some heightened items just for things like personal services, gyms, restaurants. Um, and so honestly, I, I when I look at the checklist, when I'm looking at all the criteria, if a business is following the public health orders and the guidance for the sectors, if they have the signage up that they need, if they have the drinking fountain part taken off on their drinking fountain, if they are training their staff and they're using the right um, cleaning products, then they're probably going to do very well on the checklists um, that, that exist and um, really be able to pass the inspection and show the public um, through that five-star certification sticker that they are following not only public health guidelines, but also following heightened public health guidelines um, as established through this program. So I think it's a great way for our businesses to, who are open to show that they want to be part of the solution and that they are part of the solution in mitigating the, the spread of this disease. Um, so I love that, Corinne. Well, that's super exciting. And, and I do get a sense of uh, very significant elevated uh, public health standards that they have to meet, but then also uh, the great opportunity that that represents for them to have additional business capacity. Well, well, thank you, Corinne. And, and now I'd like to hear from a business that may in fact itself benefit from the five-star certification program. And the representative um, for that business is Bob Trotter, and he is the general manager for the St. Julian Hotel, just a wonderful establishment in our community. Um, and he is a great business leader for this industry, the hotel industry. Um, and Bob, I guess I'm just gonna have to start by asking, how was the St. Julian faring? And, and then what makes you excited about this five-star certification program? Of course, John. Uh, before I jump into that, uh, I just want to say thank you to Corinne and uh, and your team. Uh, this this young professional has uh, put together hundreds of hours on uh, our five star certification program. And and right before we got on to tape this show, she told me that uh, it was submitted today. And I'll tell you that means a heck of a lot. Thank you, Corinne. And uh, to get back to your question, John, you know it's. Uh, it's been an incredible time, uh, as we all know. Uh, 
I personally managed uh, hotels through two recessions, one terrorist attack. And I got to tell you, there has been no playbook for the last 10 months. It's uh, uh, the hospitality and travel industry. It's not an exaggeration to say uh, we've been devastated, literally devastated. And the St. Julian did not escape from that, uh, from that hit, I, you know, year on year from 2019, which is a record year for ho the hospitality in Boulder and, and for, unfortunately for St. Julian as well. In 2020, uh, our to total business levels probably, uh, not probably dropped close to two thirds. And, um, and it goes to, without sort of, it makes sense to go with that. Uh, our, uh, our staff has been decreased by two thirds. I've got some really great people that, uh, that need their jobs back. And uh, that's what this five star certification program, that's the path that starts us down. But uh, just to finish up on how St. Julian is faring, uh, probably better than most in the sense that uh, we have local owners that are very dedicated to this community and this hotel's role in the community. And uh, they, they're committed to seeing it through. So I feel good about that. <laughs> well, I, I, I will just say this, Bob, that um, you know we at the Boulder Chamber recognize what an important institution the St. Julian is to the character and, and the, the strength of our economy. So you can know that we'll be here uh, to support you as well of, as well as our other hotels um, and motels here in Boulder. Um, but having said that, I guess I'm just gonna ask, what gives you optimism for the future of the St. Julian and, and then the Boulder economy in general? Um, and I note that I, I, I ask you that as I see you under the picture of uh, the beautiful outdoor uh, patio that you've you've uh, constructed uh, just recently. And yes, uh, let me get in my commercial plug, John. If you can see this, uh, we have uh, radiant heat. We there's some people in the distance enjoying our, our terrace, which does overlook uh, the flat irons for those of you who've been at the hotel. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, the, the see-through is a clear, you know, vinyl wall that uh, helps uh, keep, keep the area accountable. So come down and join us for a glass of wine or a meal. Uh, we serve uh, all free meals out there and beverages. And uh, yeah, it's been well received. So thank you for letting me get that plug in. Um, you know, I think, what ex well, first uh, you asked me, what gives me confidence and, and encouragement about the future of Boulder and the economy. It starts with our, with our underlying fundamentals that drive this community are solid. We've got CU, we've got wonderful high tech, we've got venture capital, we've got sustainable energy, we've got natural food product companies that have gone national and international. All of those all of those key foundations of our economy are solid and not going to be taken down by the pandemic. Um, and so my long-term, uh, meaning the next two to four years vision of the economy of Boulder is, is actually very optimistic. And uh, I will tell you, and, and, and it's a good, great segue into the Karen's work on the five-star certification program is a hotelier in the heart of downtown Boulder, aside from enjoying the benefits of all this infrastructure and fundamental economic engines that we have driving the business. One thing that's very important to tourism and hospitality and certainly to my hotel guests is a vibrant downtown with shops and restaurants. And outside of all the other things that we have to endure to get through uh, the end of this pandemic and get to the other side of it. I guess what keeps me up awake the most at night in that context is what does Pearl Street look like on the other side of it. It's that simple. We need that. And this five-star certification, it, it gives the, the restaurateurs and the shop owners over there, it gives them a little bit more hope and a little more something to hang on to. <laughs> We have a saying in the hospitality business and being in hotels, I, I run both, uh, you know, uh, hotels, lodging and food service and beverage service. 
And uh, the whole saying is in the hotel business, you count uh, you count dollars, and in the restaurant business, you count, count nickels and dimes. And there's a lot of truth to that in terms of the margins. And our friends that have all these great restaurants that uh, we personally enjoy and our, our visitors enjoy, man, how are, you know, what are they going through at 25% capacity trying to keep some staff on? And I'll use uh, a friend of mine, Peter, down at Tiaco that uh, also sits on the CBB board with us. You know, uh, Peter is one of those rare individuals just determined that he's been able, I believe, to keep almost 100% of his full-time staff on, on throughout the, out the duration of his last 10 months. My applause, Peter. Others have not been so fortunate, and um, there's a few that have shuttered, uh, and closed down. So this is going to give you know it, it's it's not the panacea, it's not the cure, but my God, giving them another doubling their capacity. It, as an independent restaurant owner, you've got to know. I'm I'm I want to come down there and hug Corinne's neck. I may have to wait till after the pandemic to give her a hug. But that's what it means. It means giving these folks that are such a part of our community a life. And it's not just the St. Julian. It's it's the end of, I mean, St. Julian is a fully independent, uh, locally owned hotel. But when we're talking independent restaurants, that uh, again, they, their margins, they're counting nickels and dimes and quarters. And uh, whatever we can do to help them come out on the other side of this is I'm all for it and St. Julian and my team, we're all in and willing to support the effort 100%. I love that, Bob. Bob, that is a beautiful testament, not only to the, the collaborative spirit of our business community and recognizing that their success is also your success, uh, but also just to the importance of this five-star business certification program and the value of the effort um, of Corinne and then the collaborative work of our, our business support partners from across the county and all the other institutions that have helped put this, this application together. So we're excited to see um, that application in and getting it approved. And I thank you so much, Bob, for joining us on Chamber Chat. My pleasure for having me, John. Oh, it's so great to see you. And so I just wanna close with just the reminder that we have our annual economic forecast on uh, January 28 at four o'clock. Make sure to register online. You're not gonna wanna miss that information. And then you have a band that is associated with your business. Make sure to get that video in so that we can make you a rock star. So get the video in by February 18. And so, as I always like to close, with these chamber chats. We're all excited about the light at the end of the tunnel with the vaccines coming online and the opportunities that a five-star certification program present. But it's up to all of us to help keep that virus suppressed. So remember to follow those public health guidelines. And when you're out and about around town, wear that mask. And we'll see you next time on Chamber Chat.